It's the latest step in a fragile Afghan peace process. Among the Taliban members released was Mansour Dadullah. He is believed to have been an important commander. The prisoner release is still shrouded in secrecy, and it's not clear if the prisoners were on a list submitted by the High Peace Council, which is supposed to be negotiating between the government and fighters. The seven men were allowed to walk free in Pakistan rather than being handed over to the Afghan authorities as requested. A former deputy foreign minister, Mahmoud Saikal, says the process and the releases themselves need to be made more transparent. In the past few years, the so-called peace process hasn't been fully consulted with the Afghan authorities. The Afghan parliament doesn't know much about the peace process. The legitimate political opposition of Afghanistan doesn't know much about the peace process. The civil society of Afghanistan doesn't know much about the peace process. The Peace Council isn't commenting on accusations that it is not directly involved in such releases, but was willing to highlight the cooperation between two governments that have had poor relations for years. The release comes after Afghan President Hamid Karzai's visit last month to Islamabad for talks with Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Ismail Qasimyar is a member of the High Peace Council and is more optimistic about the future of talks with Afghanistan's neighbour. Uh, Nawaz Sharif is a person who is an industrialist, who is an entrepreneur, and uh, he has to uh, put a lot of pressure and his attention on uh, the economic betterment of Pakistan. That means economic betterment of Pakistan is related to the peace and stability in Afghanistan. The release of Taliban fighters from Pakistani jails is nothing new. But what Saturday's announcement may indicate is a crucial thawing of relations between the Pakistanis and the Afghans. Most people in Afghanistan acknowledge that until Pakistan gets fully on board with the peace process, it's unlikely to work. Jane Ferguson, Al Jazeera, Kabul, Afghanistan.